You know what? I don't know if y'all can see. I have a, a most beautiful engineer behind me. And I was discussing life with him. <laughs> anyway, as he hides. <laughs> He's, like hiding. No. he's hiding from me. He's here anyway, now. <laughs> it's live radio. So we make changes as we need to. And I was just saying when we came back on that, um, you know, we got to have our Ron V. James Sports wrap up now. I mean, that just goes without saying. So um, we will enjoy Come Back to You, which is another song from my same album that I mentioned and promised. But we're not going to listen to it today um, uh, because we have to have time for, of course the sports banter so get ready up next it's time for what's the time for silence what's the time for <laughs> it's time for Ron's sports wrap up there you go go ahead Take it away, take it away. <laughs> and it is, hi. What's happening? Highland Park, Detroit, 313, and the rest of the world streaming online. We are listening to Ron Sports Rap. It's part of the Made in Detroit. Beautiful show. Beautiful show. <laughs> this week's rap will kick off with the Lions. The who? The Lions. Okay. Beautifully sorry road loss record. The Lions continue their road woes with a close defeat to the New York Giants 28-20 in the new Giant Stadium, which is called the Meadowlands. As usual, flashes of Lions, Lions brilliance was clouded with the continuous untimely errors and mishaps, like the game-ending interception Drew Stanton threw. Always seems to thwart any comeback, but it keeps you thrilled. And that's why <laughs> Detroiters love it. If you're a diehard Lions fan like my brother, you're probably like, yeah, we almost got him again this time. But we're going to keep the faith. Yeah, I'm diehard. That's right. I promise. Backup quarterback, Sean Hill, broke his arm. His left arm, as a matter of fact, getting smacked down. He was tackled pretty hard. And so he's gone. That means uh, with the bye week coming up, we're hoping that Matthew Stafford will be back. They said he's going to start after the bye, which is also another good thing. They can lick their wounds. Mm -hmm. And when they come off the bye, they play the Buffalo Bills a winless team currently. So that might end the road loss record as well. We hope. We hope. <laughs> Moving on to college football, Michigan State is now ranked seventh in the BCS polls. Looks pretty good for them to get a good bowl game. And Thank if they keep undefeated, they might even slide up into the national championship picture. We'll keep our fingers crossed. On the other side of the coin, U of M, Michigan, four and two record. Season halfway almost over. Mm -hmm. Dots are rising. And uh, the guys' luster is fading fast for any of that uh, Heisman Trophy talk for Denial Robinson, Poe, brother. Got to stay healthy, man, play a whole season. So I guess they have they dropped that little brother talk now? They pretty much they did. Pretty much yeah, did. yeah, once again, back to sucking their thumbs. Yeah. So who knows what else can happen. <laughs> Moving on to basketball. Pistons are seemingly ready for the season to start. Currently 2-4 and four in the last in the uh, preseason standings. Looks like they're distracted. <laughs> Another tidbit I heard is that Magic Johnson's just sold his interest in the Lakers. So there may be some more action with regards to the purchase of the Pistons. We'll just wait and see. Keep them in Detroit. That's the only thing anybody's interested in with him right now is, is who's going to own them before the season starts. Mm -hmm. Moving on to hockey, you got the Red Wings. They're 3-1-1 one one right now, second place behind the Nashville Predators. They're going back and forth. Nashville's 3-0-0. Oh oh. uh, wings look real good, uh, actually. Uh, Got that speed going back again, and that's how they win. Uh, we're looking to get those guys another Stanley Cup back here in Detroit. Yes. That's what we always want. We're <laughs> and finally, a holler to the 19,749 racers who participated in the 33rd Detroit Free Press Marathon. That's right. Congratulations. The largest field ever in the event. My brother was uh, my brother Daryl James. He was Darryl actually James. He was actually a participant in the marathon one year. He Excellent. Said he, he's gonna try it again one day. So you keep up training there, brother. Right. Oh oh before we leave that, Dr. Tanya Martin. Dr. Tanya Martin. She's a, a walker. Also she a participated. Walker. Yes, they yes had those she did. Handicaps. So, Congratulations. I mean the largest Paula. crowd ever. Wonderful. And that's what we love about it. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. It's a Ron James rap. <laughs> 
Thank you so much for joining us. You are been you have been watching us on www w dot eight eight one w h p r dot com streaming coming to you from Highland Park in Detroit live internationally. We were brought to you today by Celeste Productions by R D Design. Where's my sponsorship? By R D Design three one three five five one nine three five seven. Irina Savage, and one more time by Dr. Tanya Martin. Check her out for counseling services for family, individuals, and, and couples at Apex Behavioral Health, 313-271-8170, or Center for Individual and Family Counseling at 248-443-84. I love the, the, the camaraderie. Anyway, <laughs> we thank you for joining us. We'll see you again next week. Have a blessed everything. And we've got some great guests coming up coming up so stay tuned check it out have a wonderful everything bye bye